So hi all, welcome to my channel again. So in this session of general ledger accounting, we will see how we can define a chart of account. Then we will define the account group for the general ledgers, and after that we will define the retained meaning account. So chart of accounts means the listing of the general ledgers. So chart of accounts is defined at the line level. And there are three types of chart of accounts. One is operating chart of accounts. So any transaction we are doing in our organization will come under the operational chart of account, and it is mandatory to maintain an operational chart of accounts. Okay. So this will be created at the client level and will be assigned to the company code. And the group chart of accounts which is used for the consolidation purpose if there is more than chart of accounts so for the consolidation purpose we use the group chart of accounts and there is also country specific chart of accounts so in some countries there will be requirement that there will be legal requirement that to prepare the financial report using specify specific accounts so for that purpose we will using the country specific chart of accounts now in this case we will be defining one operational chart of account uh, there is no need of uh, creating the country specific uh, chart of accounts and also group chart of accounts i am creating only one chart of account that is for the operational chart of accounts so i will show you in sap how you can create the chart of accounts the t code for creating the chart of accounts is ob30 I will show you the SAP path. For that, we will go to the AMG screen. AP reference AMG. Okay. From here, we will go to financial accounting new. Then general ledger accounting new. Okay, from here we will go to master data. Then we will go to GL accounts. Then here preparations. Then we will go to edit chart of account list. Okay, so here I'm going to create the operational chart of accounts. So I will define it as ADS1. Okay, and I will give the description as operational chart of account for my company code 1750. Okay. So here we will be specifying our language and then the length of the GL account number. So you can maintain the GL account number between 1 to 10 numbers. And then we will be using for the controlling integration. So if we create any GL accounts related to cost, that has to be integrated with the controlling. There will be posting in the why? So that it has to be flowed to the controlling section. For that, we will be creating. We have to specify whether we have to manually creation of the cost elements or automatically create the cost elements. Okay. So this is for the integration of FI and CEO. So here we will maintain the language as English, and I will specify the length of the GLS. Okay. And also, if you have any group chart of accounts, you can specify here, which is used for the consolidation purpose. And if you want to block this, you can also 
click here. Okay, after that, I will save this. Okay, so our chart of accounts TDS one is created. Okay, now we will go back and we will assign this to the company code. So for this, we have to go to financial accounting. Then go to general ledger accounting. Then go to GL accounts. Then go to master data. Then go to preparations. And here you can see that assign company code to chart of accounts. So here I will select my company code, which is 1750. Okay. And here I will specify my operational chart of accounts, which is TDS1. Okay. If you want to see here, you can see in this. Okay. So this is the one TDS1. And after this, I will save this. Okay, now we'll go back. Now we will define the account group for general ledgers. Okay. So according to the client requirements, you can create the, you can define the account group. So I will be defining the account groups. Uh, I'm going to define the account group uh, like asset, liabilities, revenues and also expenses okay so for that i will click here for define account group so here i will go to new entries and i will give my chart of account that is tds1 and the account group is will create for which is for asset i will give it as asset and i can define the number range okay so i will give i have given the length as 4 so i will give to 1000 to 2000 Okay, like this, I will create TDS1. This is for the liabilities. Okay, and I will, I will define the number range as 1 to 1000 to 1999. And here I will define to 2000 to 1999. And again, I will define for revenues. Okay, here from three thousand to three triple nine. Okay, and again for the expenses. Okay, this will be the so this is the account group we are going we have created and I will save this. Okay, so we'll be able to create the GL account between for anything related to asset, we can create between this and the liabilities we can create this. So if you give you create a GL account uh, for asset and for a balance sheet item and you give the ranges 3000 to 
three triple nine, it will not be possible to create the GL account. Now we will go back. Now we will define the retained winnings account. Okay, so retained winnings account is used for to carry forward the balance of one fiscal year to the next fiscal year, and we can create more than one retained winnings account. So without creating the retained winnings account, we will not be able to create a GL account. Okay, so at the time of creating the GL account, we have to specify whether a GL account belongs to a balance sheet item or also to a profit and loss account. So I will show you here. Here the transaction code for creating the GL account is FS double zero. So if we go here, okay. So the transaction code is FS double zero. If you try to create a GL account here, you will not be able to create, okay? Because we have not defined a we not uh, defined a retained earnings account okay so my company code was 1750 so here you can see that uh, the statement account type is defined in no pds is this for uh, we have not created the retained earnings account okay so i will create the retained earnings account So this is my chart of accounts. Okay, this is the this is where we can create the retained earnings account uh, because I was previously opened a tab related to this. Okay, so that's why I was not able to pause. So here we will create our retained earnings account. So I will give X as my profit and loss account, and I will save this. Enter account. We have not created account, so uh, don't give the account number here. Uh, we can give enter. Afterwards, if we create, okay, it's okay. Okay. So the changes have been made. Now you can see in FS double zero, you will be able to create the GL accounts. Okay. If you give it now so you will be able to create the gl account now so this is how you can create the chart of accounts and then you can define the account group and also you have done the retained earnings account so i think you all understood this concept if you like this video please share and don't forget to subscribe my channel that's all thank you